Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC bringing you a brand new Let's Play series of Metroid Dread for the Nintendo Switch, made in 2021 by Mercury Steam and Nintendo. It took over 16 years to be staring at this screen right here, and let me just say that this game has been well worth the wait. Now for those of you that don't know, this is the fifth installment of the main Metroid series, taking place sometime after the events of Metroid Fusion. The company that worked on this game, Mercury Steam, also made Samus Returns for the 3DS back in 2017. So if you're familiar with that game, then you'll notice some similarities between that game and this one. But before we get started, I just gotta be frank with you. This game can be very brutal and difficult, especially for brand new players, and because of that, I feel this game will not be for everybody, especially those that value a more casual Metroid experience. This game is very fast paced and requires some quick reflexes and practice to overcome certain challenges, so do keep that in mind. You will die a lot as you figure your way through the areas and enemies in this game, but I'm here to hopefully help you if you've been he hesitant to play or have been having difficulty playing it yourself. So, with all that being said, I am going to be going for 100% items as well, like my previous Metroid Let's Plays. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to be playing on normal mode. Metroid. A virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids were originally created by the Chozo and named after their word for Ultimate Warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. X Parasite, a gelatinous parasitic organism indigenous to the planet SR388. It could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it could even access the host's memories. X Parasites were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, it became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. The only thing that saved me was a vaccine created from Metroid DNA, which also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a Biologic Space Laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. There, I battled many powerful X-forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X Menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Although the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. It was called ZDR. If the X had somehow escaped extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven Emmy to investigate. An Emmy is a large research robot designed to capture field samples and extract their DNA. 
Their incredible mobility and protective plating, made of the strongest stuff in the universe, practically guaranteed the mission success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? As the only one immune to the parasites, it is up to me to go there and find out. You'll soon be entering ZDR's atmosphere. That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is likely to be low. Remote communication remains to Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, to gain in contact. Any objections, maybe. Well, that was a heck of a way to start things, huh? I wonder who that was that attacked us. Well, rather than dwell on it, let's go ahead and get a move on then. We'll head off to the right here. I'm not going to bother to explain the controls, because the game does a good job of explaining them as we go. So let's just get a move on. There we are. While tilting L to run, press ZL to slide. Ah, I love the slide mechanic in this game. It makes things so much faster. 
All right, we got another mechanic here. Hold L to use free aim mode and tilt L to aim. So when you're using this, you stay locked in place, but it does allow you to free aim anywhere that you want uh, to shoot. So that is really nice. See, we can't go through that door, so we'll just get moving on. Ah, stupid enemy. All right, we could use our uh, free aim in order to shoot out these blocks to travel up, or we could just wall jump like that. Yeah, wall jumping is pretty easy in this game, too. I love it. All right, right here, we got ourselves an ammo refill station if you need it. But we're doing good on that front, so let's head off to the right. Hold R to ready missiles and press Y to fire. Some blocks can be destroyed only by using specific weapons. Yeah, like this one here obviously has the missile symbol on it. So just go ahead and blow that one open. Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run into a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Yeah, that's really nice. It's like, that, that is really useful in revealing how you get through certain areas. Data. You've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a chosen. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas, shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Your metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Ah, very nice. Also, we have the chance to save our game here if we like, but we're just going to keep moving on. So the person that attacked us was a Chozo, huh? Very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our map. We can take a look around. Hmm. This place is called Artaria. I think that's how that's said. Let's go ahead and check out the global map, see where our ship's at. Yeah, we're quite far down. It's going to take a little bit to get there, isn't it? All right, let's get moving on. All right, get out of here, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and slide under here. All right, and here we get introduced to another mechanic in the game, the melee counter. Use a melee counter at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press, uh, press X to use your melee counter now. Boom! All right, and instantly after you do that, you can let out a big shot at the enemy, and that will kill them instantly. Well, if they're weak enough to it. It'll just mainly allow you to counterattack them. All right, the good thing is you also have a dash melee in this game as well that you can use to parry enemies on the go. Ow! Freaking hell. There we go. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Yeah, just like that. Now, unlike uh, Mercury Steam's other game, uh, Samus Returns, uh, you couldn't do a dash melee counter in that game. You, you had to stand still in order to do that. So that makes the movement so much better in this game. All right, let's check out what's in here. If an area on the map is blinking, it indicates that a hidden item is there. Ah, really? 
Well, it looks like we got something up here that we can shoot, so let's go ahead and do that. Hey, look at that! We un uh, uncovered this missile tank up here, and also this doorway. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Get away from me! An enemy's attack can be countered by pressing X at the exact moment of the flash. However, the timing is extremely difficult to gauge, make th making this a desperate maneuver. So yeah, when you see the enemy's eye flashing like that, immediately hit your counter, and that'll let you counter them, and then you can slide right between their legs like that. Alright, let's get moving! The energy from the central unit transformed the arm cannon into an Omega Cannon. Omega Blaster Online. Alright, so if we hold L to go into aim mode while we have uh, the Omega Blaster, it'll go into this view, and we can use that to freely aim our arm cannon around. And what we want to do is we want to aim it at this thing uh, on the wall here. You can see it uh, highlights like that. And then we just want to hold down R to charge our blaster, and once it's fully charged, we can just shoot at that object there, and that'll open up the doorway again. Alright, so now, we have a means of taking care of this Emmy here. Let's go ahead and charge up the blaster and hit it in the eye. Omega Cannon depleted and offline, reverting to regular arm cannon. So yeah, that's basically a quick rundown on how ME fights are going to go. So we have a means of destroying them, but uh, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> Alright, with that said, let's go ahead and get moving on here. And we got ourselves a save point here if you'd like to use it, but I'm doing good right now. So instead we'll head down here. We can't go through that door. But we can head over here and blast this open. And that'll drain the water from here. Ooh, what's up that way? Alright, and here's our first introduction to an Emmy zone. You see this entire area right here? That means that there's an Emmy patrolling around in here. And also, this is the central unit for this area. We'll talk about that later on. But, yeah, when you see it like flashing like that and this creepy music is playing, that means there's an active Emmy around here, so we're going to need to keep our eyes open. So we can't go down there or through the door to the left. Let's see what's through this one. Well, hi there, you! 
The good thing is that it actually can't do anything to you while you're in this area. But the instant you destroy this thing, yeah, it's going to be on the move, so you better be moving yourself. Alright, just keep moving. We'll head down this way. And then into here. Yeah, unfortunately we have to wait for this Emmy now. But the good thing is, they can't fit through that uh, tight space there. So we're free to move on. Alright, oop. What the heck was that? Did you see that? Uh, it's probably nothing. Alright. Well, let's get moving over here. See, we got a doorway to the right that we can't go through. Because it won't let us get near it. So we'll just have to remember that for later. But, ooh, look at this. We got ourselves another missile tank over here. Oh, I'll be taking that. Okay, ooh, another network station. Uploading data. Both Emmy you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be hostile. Emmy, send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an Emmy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An Emmy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the Emmy's own exits. You will be trapped inside. To survive, you must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the Emmy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. An Emmy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an Emmy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The Emmy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first Emmy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an Emmy zone should be simply to survive. Well, that's nice and comforting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there is a way to uh, avoid the Emmys. You have two opportunities when they catch you to break out of it, but it is a very small window, so I don't recommend, uh, you know, just brazenly running up to an Emmy and trying to do that. All right, well, we got a missile there that we can't get. We'll just have to remember that for later. And look at that. Back into the Emmy zone we go. All righty. We'll just head over this way. And then quickly up here. Nope, I don't think so, Emmy. It's like, I'm out of here. Alright. There we are. And we'll just keep moving on through here and out this door. Alright, we are safe for the time. So let's get moving on through this way. There we go. And we got ourselves a safe point right here, which I am going to use. So yeah, let's go ahead and save our game right here. Alrighty, and there we are. So what else awaits us here in Artaria and on the planet ZDR? Well, we're going to have to find out in the next video. Stay tuned for more Metroid Dread.